our king. We follow where he leads, even if we don't like the path. It's uh, a very warm welcome to Liam Cunningham, the legend that is obviously uh, legend. double seaworthy, the one and only, with all ten fingers, I noticed. Obviously. Yes, yes, yes. I, I've got a... We heard a uh, micro-surgeon at the end of every season. He puts okay, the fingers yeah. back on. Very it's thoughtful. No expense spared, clearly, on the show. Obviously. I mean, you're talking about going into the last two seasons and the fact that seven episodes has taken as much production time, if not even more cost, than yeah. the normal ten, ten episodes. How have you found the, the kind of roll-up towards the final stages of this, this behemoth that has been the Game of Thrones? I know, it's, it's extraordinary. It's, uh, I mean, it really has become a phenomenon. I've, I've been asked a couple of times, that, 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 did you know it was going to become this big? And I've got, and I've, and the answer, which is true, is that nobody did. I mean, we, you know, when you've got, when you, yeah, you can't, you can't tell it. If, as the guy said, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, but I knew it was going, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be really good. But with these, with these things, especially when you got dragons and witches and all sorts of things, you, uh, you, you, it can, it can sometimes be a, a cult following. And I think they were kind of. HBO kind of thought it may have been, but obviously it's broken through and become a, a cultural thing, event. Yeah. Um, but to, to go back to your question, uh, yeah, we've we, we uh, finished. We've two seasons left to show. We've actually only one season left of film. We right. we finished at the end of February, this and that was the off season now, and you're you're back in. Yeah, we just finished the end of Feb, and then we start, and then uh, the production starts again in in uh, in September, yeah. uh, with six episodes. Okay. And uh, and and we await and see, but uh, but the scripts are still being finalised, maybe. Uh, oh, without a doubt, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, season seven is still being finalised. They're still they're still it's doing all the se <coughs> excuse me, post production work, CGI, all that music, and that will go out. I think July seventeenth. I think the first seven, the first episode is going to be is going to be broadcast. When you talk about cult following, and there's no question it both has that cult appeal as well as the mass appeal. And I, I kind of wonder how does that compare with what's one of you know my personal scenes and, and work that you did as Captain Ryan in Dog Soldiers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's another link with the two with the former Neil Marshall. Yes, and yes. You know, I, I mean, did you get to collaborate? Obviously, you did work together in Dog Soldiers, but did you get to collaborate on the two episodes that he directed for Game of Thrones? Um, uh, well, well d d d Neil. I did Dog Soldiers. I did his first movie and his last movie. I did Centurion as well. Fabulous. And uh, Neil's first attempt at television was The Battle of Blackwater, Battle season, Black two. season yeah, two. Yeah, it's the first time he's ever done television. Um, and at the time, he sent me a text. Uh, Rolling Stone reviewed Battle of Blackwater, which was obviously season two. Uh, and they, they reviewed it and... and he, he sent me this, just this uh, headline or clipping from it sure. and it said, Rolling Stone said, this is possibly the best hour of television that has ever been made. And Neil wrote underneath, wrote underneath, and he, he's being ironic about it, he says, yeah. not bad for a first timer. Absolutely. So uh, he's a joy. Uh, I love working with Neil. He's, he, loves his, he loves his horror, he loves, he's brilliant on action. He's, uh, his editing and Oh, it's just it's sensational. How did you find the role of Captain Ryan? Thinking, I mean, it's a, it's a few years back. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You loved the performance, loved the movie. How was that experience compared to the sort of scale that you're working with the budgets and so on now? Yeah, uh, yeah well, I mean, I love doing. Uh, there's, there's something about the history of movies that I'm sort of interested in it as sure. well. And and you have to remember one of the things. Uh, there's not too many actors get the opportunity to turn into a werewolf. And that goes back to Lon Chaney, and it goes back. I mean, it, this is historical stuff. Yeah. And Wolf in London, all the exactly, you know, the classic. exactly. And it's it's one of, I remember growing up with that stuff. My uncle used to, when I was really young, had a, a, a Super 8 projector, and I remember silently watching watching Lon Chaney Senior. I think it was Wolf, uh, what was it? Were, Werewolf versus Frankenstein. I think it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, years and years ago. And I remember it being really small and going, "This is absolutely amazing." So when I sent this script, um, this Dog Soldiers thing. And uh, and it was it was that and not only that but it, it was it's so funny the script yeah. as well I mean people people <laughs> love this no they really took the yeah there is no spoon it's, so it's amazing amazing how many people quote quote yeah. that line Absolutely. where's spoon there is no spoon <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great I go back to it your it's ferocity like pre your transformation and then post into yeah. the time. 
Oh, he was a, an idiot, this guy. Yeah. Love no, I just, I just, I'm just I, gonna eat up literally the role. Yeah, they, well, they hate it. I mean, I know because they, because the, especially the British Army loved this movie when they, when they were, yeah, you know, sure. when they were in in Afghanistan, they used yeah, to request yeah. it all the time, uh, and they loved. They really found the squaddies in it. They, 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 they just said these are the guys. These, these are like us. Yeah. It was an odd. And so when I show up as a special forces, arrogant fool. And, and the, English yeah, with, well, yes, before, he was quite yeah. plummy as well. I, yes, indeed, I yes. tried to get him as plummy as I could. It was lovely. It was I, <laughs> I tried to make him easy to hate, uh, but but I, I loved I loved working with that whole gang. It, it was it was great. I mean, it was Kevin McKidd was on that and Sean Perry and, and 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 just wonderful people. It wonderful people. Well, but I think we just got time for one more question. Go ahead. You know, what's next? Davos is coming to an end at some point in the next yeah. seven and six episodes. There is no next. Uh, it's I. You yeah, listen. I do what I do. Yeah, I go with the flow. I mean, I'm not exclusively. I've just. I did a movie with Ethan Hawke in Cape Town over the summer. I've. Uh, I, I. I did a beautiful movie with, with um, Robert Pattinson and uh, Berenice Bejo about the rise of fascism, which is kind of Still interesting. Uh, well, we no, we took that to Venice, uh, kind of about a, about a year and a half ago. We won okay. two big awards there with that, and okay. Scott Walker did the music on it. And, and, and uh, it's an extraordinary movie by a, a, a New Yorker, 26 year old, uh, one of the most talented people I've ever worked with. Okay. He's an extraordinary guy. So I, 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 I do my thing and, and uh, you know, I, I stumbled onto Game of Thrones and uh, in a sense, and, and you look for something of that quality so again. Next thing yeah, we look for good storytelling and working with good people. And well, if, if I can't get that, I'll sit at home and twiddle my thumbs and when it comes along, I'll, I'll grab it. Holding on to the... Uh a lovely little relic instead of giving it to your daughter ahead of the episode. No, I know, I know, I know. I've got, got myself in trouble there. <laughs> Not doing so that much. again. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor. Lovely to talking to you. Really Cheers. really appreciate your time. Thank you lovely. very much, Liam Cunningham in Future Magazine. Thank you.